I will start off this video today by giving a disclaimer. I'm not a medical practitioner or a medical whatever, but I'm making this video par rapport uh, my experience from my experience yes hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's always your girl sherry bell jean and thank god we are live today to bring to you another video i really do appreciate all of you who have been stepping by and who keep on coming by my channel in today's video like i promised last time we are going to be talking about clomid clomifid 50 grams clomid which is a fertility drug if this is what you're interested in why not grab a cup of coffee, stay put, and let's talk about this medication together. Now, just to give you a rundown of what happened in my last video. In my last video, I talked about getting pregnant um, without ovulating and how the doctor helped. But there was one big factor that helped speed up the pregnancy process, and that was the medication Clomid. You can call it Clomid or you can call it Clomiphane. Now, before we go into talking about how, today's video is going to talk about when to take Clomiphane, the after effects of Clomiphane, and the results of Clomiphane. Now, before I go into it, I would like to say this. Clomiphane is a, it is tagged a fertility drug, but mind you, it's not only for people that are suffering from infertility. Clomiphane Clomiphane or Clomid is meant for two categories of people. The first category of people are those that are not ovulating at all. Those that are not ovulating at all that need this drug to speed up their ovulation or to induce their ovulation so they can have follicles which are never there. So the follicles can grow up to maturity and then being released into the ovaries where implantation and um, um, a baby is being formed yes and the second category of women are the women that are ovulating but they want to double up their chances maybe because of an age factor or maybe they always have you remember every month you just have one um um egg released into the ovary for every woman just one so these women want to multiply their chances so they go to a fertility clinic to get this drug so as to multiply their chances and then give birth to their bundles of joy now by without I, I, i've already explained that why am i blabbing <laughs> why am i blabbing okay as you know i'm not a medical practitioner as i said disclaimer i am just giving this out from my experience i've said it's meant for two categories of people those that are not ovulating and those that are ovulating but want to, to speed up their chances now what is this clomid and what is it all about and how did i find about clomid in my last video if you watched my last video i was not ovulating and so we didn't know that there's a process or there's a situation at all where women will not be able to ovulate so my doctor helped explain this to me and then he put me on clomiphane clomiphane 50 gram and he said if this clomiphane 50 gram doesn't work out the next section the next session because you can take clomiphane only three times you cannot take it more than three times so the next session he's going to add the gram so the first gram was 50 gram and he said you have to take it in a particular way at a particular time for this drug to be effective now this is what we are going to be talking about today so when do you take clomiphane you take clomiphane two days into your period as per the uh, medical practitioner as per my doctor you take you start taking clomid two days into your period into your period that means if your period starts today then you have to start taking your medication the second day that tomorrow you have to start checking in now mind you this medication is not just taken anyhow it is taken at a particular time at a particular hour of a day so if you're being prescribed and clomiphane you do well to try to check your schedule to know which time it's appropriate for you or you if, if you're that forgetful like i was for the first round then you have to put on maybe like an alarm clock to always wake you up like you're going to be taking this thing at 12 because that time is <laughs> Um, um very very important why do i say so i took clomiphane two times the first round was not successful because i forgot to take it the first day and i believe because i didn't take it on time the second day the first day i took it at 9 a.m 
I mean, I've sent my son to school. I took it at 9 a.m. And then the second day I forgot and I took it at 12. And I believe that was a huge factor. After the five days and nothing happened. So I went and saw the doctor and the doctor had to give me a second round. Mind you, the second round, remember I said before, the doctor said the second round he was going to increase the dose. But because of the side effects of clomiphene on me, we are in the people are different different coins and different strokes on different people because of the side effects on me he decided to maintain the gram and decided and i explained to him that i skipped that time so he told me the time factor was very very important now i took it the second time and i took i decided to take it at 12 lunchtime so i put on an alarm and every 12 i made sure that by 11 59 i was holding my tablet in my hand and 12 i was drinking so i took it and behold the second round it worked with that being said i would like to move on now to some of the things that you will experience while you're taking clomid yes this is my experience on when i was taking clomid my new people are different and people's bodies react differently to certain medication yes i will not tell you it's not a fun thing when you're taking this clomid you have these feelings the vivid feelings of yes like it has worked or but before getting to that the very the very very first effect of that clomid was restlessness i was restless i was tired i was having blackouts like my vision was blurry most women on clomid will tell you they have a blurred vision my vision was blurry after i took it i was just feeling weak i was feeling uh, uh, um, tired very tired and then that was the first um, effect after effect of the drug. I noticed I was feeling tired, very weak, uh, having blurred vision. I was, yes, that was the first. The second thing I felt within my body was I was very nauseous. I was just feeling as I want to throw up, I want to throw up, I want to throw up, I was feeling nauseous. And when you check around, many women also feel that nauseous kind of thing. They are feeling like they, they want to. They want to throw out, feeling nauseous. And then the third effect, the third thing, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, I'm trying to choke up. I need to drink, to grab some water, but let me do that after this video. Then the third thing I felt was bloating. Like, I felt so bloated. My stomach was just so full. I felt so bloated and so uncomfortable. No matter the amount of water I took in, I was just feeling bloated, 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 bloated. This was really serious. And the third thing, and the fourth thing I felt was sleeplessness in the night. Immediately I took the drug. I wanted to go directly to sleep. But I took the drug during the, the day. So I could not go to sleep because I had to go to work. I had things to attend to. <laughs> so i was just feeling like going to bed immediately but in the night my eyes were like dry i could not sleep i was restless just standing around then even when i tried to sleep i have this kind of vivid and strange dreams vivid vivid vivid, vivid dreams and then the last thing was excitement excitement i was just feeling just excited like anxiety anxiousness excitement all of these feelings were just pouring in you know and it was making me feel really uncomfortable so these are some of the side effects that most women would have headache being nauseous bloating will come inside sleeplessness sleeplessness like vivid sleep having vivid dreams then the last one was anxiety too much anxiety too much anxiety you're just anxious about everything and anything around you you're anxious about <laughs> you're anxious about so these were some of the side effects that I have checked, I've done my research, and I've talked with some women that have taken this, and these are some of the side effects they told me they also had. Yes, they also had. With that being said about Clomid, remember Clomid is a fertility drug, but it's not only meant for those that are infertile or those that are facing problems of infertility, but it's also it's meant for people who are not ovulating and want to ovulate because if you don't ovulate for your follicles to grow bigger and bigger and mature and be released into the ovaries for a baby to be formed then there is no way a baby can be formed so this species of women can go to a fertility clinic for this drug and mind you this drug cannot be gotten over the counter <coughs> 
<coughs> excuse me it cannot be gotten over the counter you must see a physician i must get some water you must see your physician and the second group of women again are those women that are overlating but they want to multiply their chances they want like they want to get it right they want to get it right they want to get it right they don't want to fail so they go to see a, a fertility physician to prescribe them this drug this drug it is not getting over the counter and mind you follow all the instructions that your doctor gives you and I believe if you take your drugs at the same time, at the same time every day for five days, it's been taken for five days. Um, the 50 grams has been taken for five days. If you take them accordingly, I bet you, you're going to come back here with a success story. Like I came back with a success story and my boy is four years today. Yes, four years today. It doesn't come, it doesn't come like a bed of roses. Yes, some of these feelings I talked about are very, very uncomfortable. The nauseousness, the bloating, you're feeling bloated, the anxiety, anxiousness, you're just feeling anxiety for everything, the sleeplessness, the headaches, strong headaches. Uh -huh, I forgot one thing, hot flashes. Like you just sit and in a minute you're very hot on your face and the next minute it's cold the next minute you're hot on your face the next minute it's cold hot flashes were also part of the uh, medication the effects of the uh, side effects of the medication so if you're going through this you don't yet know your status you don't yet know if you're ovulating but you're trying and trying and trying or you think you're ovulating you're using straps and you think you're ovulating but you're not ovulating or but nothing is happening please hurry up and see a physician see a fertility doctor to try to go through and run your tests and see what is really wrong with you and maybe your case might be my case no ovulation and then they can induce induce your ovulation and then more follicles will be produced and you would be blessed with a bouncing baby i encourage you to see a physician and if you have any questions about this clomid that i've not talked about in this video please leave the comments the questions in the comment section and i'm going to get back to you please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for watching me up till now is like mm -hmm. It's like witchcraft. <laughs> Watching me up to this level and you're not yet a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Please do consider to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell so whenever I upload a video on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm trying to be consistent. They will be notified. Yes, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't really work. So I want to be uploading videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, that is what I want to be uploading. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking like this video. This series is just going to be about my experience having my 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 last son. He is four years now. I just want to talk about so many things. And in my next video, I'm going to be talking to you about is it possible to give a diagnosis of a wrong gender? Can a doctor, after multiple ultrasounds, tell you you're going to have a baby boy and then you, you end up having a baby girl? What are the possibilities? What are the causes of that? We are going to see that in my next video. If you're interested in that, please turn on your notification bell. Hit the notification button. So anytime I upload my video, you will be the first to be notified. It's always your humble and favorite girl, Sherry Belding. Do have a blessed day and always remember to be kind. It pays.